Up in the air, Boynton Beach tonight is headed for a banner fight. Good evening, I'm Michael Williams. I'm Kelly Dunn. Thank you for staying with us tonight. They're flying to catch your eye, but critics worry they could become an eyesore. Merchants see it differently, though, and a fight is brewing over these feather banners, similar to the ones you see here, and whether to regulate them in Boynton Beach. News Channel 5's Marissa Bagg airs out that debate. drive down Okeechobee Boulevard or Congress Avenue. They're hard to miss. Feather banners are multiplying by the day. On this one block stretch of Lake Worth Boulevard, you can count one, two, three, four, five feather banners. And just across the street, a few more. Boynton Beach barbershop owner Hernan Argetta says he needs one at his new location. An advertisement is key in this economy right now. Argetta's shop is tucked away in a strip mall. He says a feather banner flapping in the wind attracts the attention he needs. A feather banner that's just sticking out there 24-7, you know, it's allowing constant advertisement going. Especially in this economy, it's tough. You know, the most advertisement you can get for a small business, the better. We don't want to be these businesses open up for six months and then just fall under. Interest in the banners motivated Boynton Beach City Commissioners to write up an ordinance to regulate them. We want to make sure that area businesses are able to promote themselves without it becoming uh, banners everywhere you look. The current proposal wouldn't allow two feather banners to be placed within 300 feet of each other, and a business could only post one for 90 days at a time. Those are regulations Argetta says he can handle. That would be fine, you know, three months, you know, 90 days, that allows you at least three months to get going. City commissioners plan on discussing this ordinance at their next meeting on December 6th. They could decide to vote on it at that time, and if it passes, it would take effect immediately. Reporting in Boynton Beach, Marissa Bagg, WPTV News Channel 5.